Hello friends, welcome to Vidyan Institute. In this video, we will learn how to assign a permission set to a user. So, in Chrome browser, I have signed up as a Salesforce administrator. And in the Microsoft Edge, I have signed up as a user whose name is Alex Jones. So you can see. Now, if, for example, this user Alex Jones wants to create a new account. So he can create it like this. As you can see, there used to be a field with name phone. This field is not visible to this user. So what could be the reason? The reason is that he has been allotted a profile. You can see he is allotted the profile of sales profile. So I will show you that this profile doesn't grant the permission, the field level permission to phone field. So uh, but uh, like Alex wants the access to the field, the phone field. So how will we do that? We will use a thing called permission set for that. So permission sets are used if a user wants some extra privilege, some extra access to the field or any object which is not given by the profile. Now you may say that we can do the same thing by assigning a different profile to him. But the problem is we should al always consider that profile should be minimum. We should not make different profile for even one user or two users. So we will do that using permission sets. So first of all, let me show you. So he has been allotted a sales profile. So let's see whether the permission of phone number is granted in the sales profile. So he has been granted custom sales profile so let me just show you yeah so this is the custom sales profile and now we will scroll down to field level securities and as we are considering about the field of account objects. So let's go to the account. Now you can see the fields names and the access which is granted using the profile. So you can clearly see that there is a field name phone, but the access is not granted. It's unchecked. Now you may say that we can check this box to give the access using profile itself why to use permission sets but the problem is the profile is assigned to a lot of users so it may happen that we want to give uh, this access to phone number only to a particular user um, because if we use the profile then everyone will get the access which is the problem so we will give ac access to particular this user using uh, by assigning a permission set to him so let's see how to assign a permission set to him and also let me remind you that I have signed up here as a system administrator in this tab and in this tab I have signed up as a user to show you the demo. So here is the permission set. You can search by permission set in the quick find box and you will find it. Now let's create a new permission set. So permission set is basically a thing like a profile. Here also we uh, grant some permissions to object or field and then we assign the permission set to a particular user or group of users. So let's label this permission set as phone access as we will use it to give the John access to the phone field. So you can leave the description as well. Now here you can see that license is checked to none. So it should be you can do it. You can change it to a particular user license as well if you want to assign this permission set to only a user or a group of users who have for example chatter free license but for now you need not change it just leave it to none because we are not sure that the user belongs to which license and there is no compulsion for that now we have created a new permission set and now we will assign the permission to the field of the account whose name is phone number to this so let's go to object settings in the permission sets now here we have the accounts object you can see clicking on that now here we have here is the list of the permission field permissions now we will edit it 
and go to the phone field here it is and we will check it so on checking it what will happen is any user who will be assigned this permission set will get the access to this phone field on the account object also I would like to add that you can see that some fields can't be unchecked these can't be unchecked because if we assign access to for example account name field via the profile so we can't restrict the access using permission sets permission set can only increase the access we can't do that we can uncheck this so that account name can't be accessed so if something is granted some permission is granted by profile then it's paramount and it can be increased just by using the permission set it can't be decreased so we have checked the phone and now we will save so we have created our permission set and now we will assign it to the john who is the user who want to who wants to have the access of phone field on the account object so let's click on manage as assignments then add assignment now we will select the user and here it is alex jones so we will click check it and click on next then assign now what happen is the username alex jones get access to the phone field on the account object due to the permission set due to the permission set whose name is phone access so now let's see on refreshing on the user alex jones system salesforce org whether he is now able to see the phone field or not clicking on new yes you can see that the phone field is now visible now he can add a data and also access the phone field as well on the account object which was not possible by using just the profile the custom sales profile which he has been assigned so this is the benefit of permission sets we can extend the access which can't be done by profile only because if we do it using profile all the users will get the access to that particular phone field which we don't want we want some particular user to get the access so this was done using that so thanks a lot thanks for watching stay tuned for the upcoming videos we will be learning in detail about many more things like validation rules and how to make a master detail relationship and lookup relationship between objects and many more things so thanks a lot.